My name is Jerry O'Donnell. I'm the general manager of ESPN 100.9 FM, and I'm also the voice of Dow Diamond. All right, Jerry, we're going to start with some of your favorites. Okay. Food. Chinese. Movie. It's a Wonderful Life. TV show. Seinfeld. Actor or actress. Jimmy Stewart. Favorite sports team other than the Loons. Uh, Lions. Favorite athletes. Favorite athletes? Uh, Donna and Sue, uh, Tim Tebow, uh, currently Draymond Green. Favorite sport to play? Golf. Favorite sport to watch other than baseball? Uh, football. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Um, no, middle, I take that back. Middle school basketball. <laughs> Favorite Midwest League road city? Have to be, uh, Lansing. I really like the area around the stadium. Favorite vacation spot? Ludington, Michigan. Favorite part of Midland? Uh, probably the rail trail, specifically around the trail in the nature zone. Non-athletic hobby? Collect cows. Favorite book? Have to be one of the religious route because that's easy. Uh, Cujo. Favorite color? Blue. All right, Jerry, role model. Ronald Reagan. Proudest athletic accomplishment? Well, there have been so many. Um, uh, probably Bay Valley hole number one about 15 years ago. I, I uh, chipped one in from 70 feet out at the stick and went right in the hole. I'll never do that again. Proudest non-athletic accomplishment? Uh, I caught three boys. <laughs> Most embarrassing moment? Again, uh, there have been so many. I think on stage, Bay Valley, Halloween party, my crew pantsed me and I was butt naked from the waist down. Fortunately, there were spotlights on me at the time, so everyone got a uh, look at the dark side of the moon. <laughs> Hidden talent. Um, I whistle really well. Would you care to demonstrate? No, I will not no. demonstrate for you. Are you embarrassed about your whistling? It's just not something I do on tape. Um, it's copyrighted material? No, it's just something I do casually and without thinking about it. If I think about it, it makes it more difficult. Something people don't know about you, other than you're a shy whistler. Uh, I am an auctioneer, a very amateur auctioneer. All right. You want to demonstrate that? No, I don't want to demonstrate that on tape either. Do you have any superstitions? I have lots of superstitions. Do you care to share the most prominent of these superstitions? The most prominent one, and the one that uh, people comment on, I don't even know that I do, it's kind of subconscious. When introducing the starting lineup, um, Great Lakes Loon's pitcher, I have to pound the desk three times in succession while announcing his name, and I don't know why. All right, Jerry, complete the statement. Okay. If I had a billion dollars, I would. I don't know that I would necessarily, I would certainly not uh, quit my job as PA announcer at Dow Diamond. I don't know that I would live here year round though. I think I would buy a house in Bermuda because it's the most temperate spot in North America. If I could see anyone in concert, I would see? Weird Al Yankovic. If I could take any celebrity on a date with my wife's, wife's permission, I would take? Okay, uh, she's at the top of my list. That would be Catherine Zeta-Jones. And I would take her? Probably to a Chinese restaurant. All right. If I could invite any three people to dinner, dead or alive, I'd invite? This is tough. And again, I won't go the religious route because that's easy. Uh, I would... Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Um, I'm going to say Abraham Lincoln, Winston Churchill, and... Um, Living or dead, right? Um, I would take uh, Gandhi. All right. When I retire, I want to. Again, I don't know that I'll ever retire from my job as PA announcer on Great Lakes Loons. Um, but when I retire, I want to work on my lawn. Okay, fair enough. We're going to do teammate identification to finish this okay. off, Jerry. So the member of the ESPN 100.9 FM staff or the Great Lakes Loon staff that best fits the description. Okay. Nicest. Dave Gamola. Funniest. 
William Christopher Lois. The person who tries to be funny but really isn't that funny. Jerry O'Donnell. <laughs> person you'd most want backing you up in a fight. Matt McQuaid. Person who acts the toughest but wouldn't harm a fly. Tammy Brinkman. Athletes? Oh, um. I think it'd be Paul Barbeau. And smartest. I think again that would be Paul Barbeau. Sucking up to the boss, I like That's it. That's right. Jerry O'Donnell. <laughs> probably true though. Jerry O'Donnell, your done. This has been Inside the Dugout with Jerry O'Donnell.